6. Preserving the Hmong culture and language is what one Madison-based web developer is set out to do. Sarah McGrew has a look at how personal experience influenced her to create two phone apps. Annie Vang was just two years old when her family came to the United States as refugees. They left behind everything uh, to start a new life here, to try to live the uh, American dream. Like many Hmong families, her family lost their cultural home after siding with the U.S. in the Vietnam War. Today, California has the largest Hmong population in the United States, followed by Minnesota and Wisconsin. And because Hmong was not a written language until recently, a lot was lost during that migration. Because everything is, was not written down, you know, many centuries ago, and especially during the war, that everything, like everything was lost. Growing up, I myself started to lose my identity as a Hmong American, not being able to uh, communicate. So with a web developing background, Annie decided to create a digital footprint right here on your phone with the Hmong Phrases app. I saw that there was a gap and I wanted to be able to also preserve the language for the younger generations to be able to speak to the older generations as they uh, start to leave us. The really app amazing. launched in 2011 and updated just this past summer. It has several sections, common phrases, vocabulary words, sounds and flashcards. <laughs> Annie recorded her own voice for the app to help users learn the pronunciation for each of the Hmong dialects, green and white. I feel that it's critical um, just for identity purposes, uh, being able to communicate. Our stories needed to be told. And it's not only through a language app she's working to preserve her culture. She also has a cooking app and a YouTube channel. It's just to teach Hmong recipes, Southeast Asian recipes. Oh. It's the same purpose of why I built my uh, Hmong Phrases app. You can check out both of Annie's apps and her YouTube channel to learn more about Hmong culture. We'll have links up at TMJ4.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Sarah McGrew, TMJ4 News.